All right, Scorpio, here we go. March 2024. General reading. May or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, you found Steve Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. This reading is timeless. I'm not a time lord, but uh, I am pulling on March. I asked the universe to give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of Scorpio for March 2024. I get this message on the surface energy. You've got communication coming. Change. It's crossed by the magician. Commun really a big alchemy here led into gold. Uh, it's probably information or communication coming to you from something that you felt that you felt in the dark about, okay? Or maybe someone feels in the dark about you. I don't know, uh, but it's something. It's information that you may have been seeking. I'm not sure. Uh, you may have had a conflict with this person with the King of Wands here. Either way, it allows you to move forward with this individual. It is coming from an individual, okay? So it's something maybe you felt in the dark about, or maybe it's one of those clarifying conversations. <clears throat> I don't know. Let's shuffle the deck. Could go a thousand different ways. Let's shuffle the deck. First card out's before the cut. So why the fuck are we here? So why the fuck are we here? Let's find out. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of Scorpio from March 2024. Let's see where we go. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this is information that's been held back, withheld, okay? We saw that with the wall, the nine of wands up in the pre-shuffle. So, yeah, okay. Cut cards back up the pre-shuffle. So, sure, what comes after the cut? The fool. It allows you to move on. Something you've been in the dark about, you're about to find out, and it allows you to move on. This can play out a thousand different ways. It comes from another source, an outside source, a person. Okay, let's see. Let's shuffle the deck. All right. Interesting reading. Let's see. Uh, give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of Scorpio for March 2024. Let's see where we go. So far, pretty cut and dry. I mean, it is what it is. All right. All right. Overall energy, 10 cups, fueled by seven wands. Um, I think this information makes you feel good. I think it also puts you in sort of the catbird seat, puts you on the high ground. Okay. Right here is this uh, connection you have with whoever this is, the soulmate connection. It is a soulmate connection. Right here is the 3D energies around this person. Right here is their soul. There's the hidden energy, message from the universe, read with the energy of your connection. And right here is the potential final outcome. I say potential because I cannot predict free will. I will clarify and throw some universe cards at the end. Let's see where we go. What's the connection here? Three pentacles. Somebody wants to start over. Somebody wants to be friends. Somebody wants to let bygones be bygones partnership, things along those lines. We got a new beginning coming here. Okay? And it's solid. It's a chance for a solid foundation to move forward. Okay. May have had a conflict with this person. I don't know. 3D energies around this individual. Page of Cups. Um, I think they're becoming aware of feelings they have for you. Can I put it that way? Okay. That's, that's how I'm going to phrase it. I'm just going to riff on the energy. Alright. Slowly but surely, they've become aware that you matter. Put it like that. Here's their soul. It's red with the three of pentacles. King of swords. Yeah, it's very mission-oriented. It, it, it feels like it's something they have to do. It's something they want to do. But you may also have a conflict to sort out with this person. It could be a little swordsy. Okay, could get a little swordsy, but that's a rainbow sword. And our overall energy is the rainbow here. All right? Uh, so maybe it's somebody who wants to straighten something out. You know, it could be. I don't get a lot of romance here, but maybe. I don't know. Uh, I'm not getting the steamy energy I've gotten from other signs, but we'll see. You are the hot Scorpios, right? Hidden energy message from the universe red with three pentacles. The high priestess. Mm. You've been in the dark about something. You've been in the dark maybe about this person's feelings. You've been in the dark about something. You've wanted to know something maybe. Um, again, secrets are going to come out. Secrets are going to be revealed. Things are going to be talked about that have been swept under the carpet or hidden with this individual. Okay? All right. Potential final outcome. Red with Page of Cups. They are developing or have figured out they have some feelings here. Eight of Swords. They're confused about their feelings for you, and I think they want to talk to you. I think they want to sort it out. I think they've overthought things a bit too much. Round and round, somebody feels trapped by these feelings. Maybe you have a conflict with this person. I don't know. I'm still not getting a whole lot of hot, heat, lusty kind of energy here, but I am getting somebody who's... This may confuse you. 
You may feel, oh shit, what do I do now after this? I don't know. Don't get an eight swords if that's if that's in, if that energy is for you. All right. But randomly at the bottom of the little animal deck we're going to clarify with is the devil. Okay, so you definitely have some kind of, you may view this person, whoever this is, as the devil type energy. Okay, I don't know. But I think that changes. I think it might surprise you. But anyway, let's see. Uh, Three of Pentacles. Why is it here? Let's clarify. Three of Pentacles. Jesus, what the hell? Three. Okay, all right. These cards do not want to show. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Somebody wants to turn things around. Somebody wants something with you. Somebody wants... You got a chance to build something with this person. It might surprise you. It might be why you get, you get in your head. They're definitely in their head about their feelings. What's on top? The Ace of Swords. You're going to get some truth. Truth will be spoken. It's a reconciliation energy. Somebody wants to start over. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Ten of Cups. Our overall energy appears in the reading in a key position. Um, yeah, there's a chance. Uh, it's a truth you never thought you'd get from this person. Maybe it can be. But it's, again, it's, it's, it's with good intent. It might come out a little swordsy, but he's still, he is holding a rainbow sword. And there's, there's the rainbow again. Let's talk about these feelings. Page of Cups. It doesn't feel lusty to me. It feels, well, I don't want to say puppy lovey, but it feels like a friend. Uh, maybe, I don't know, family member. You have a soul connection with them, for sure. Why is the Page of Cups here? Why? Tell me about the Page of Cups. Tell me about it. Yeah, it's crossed by the Nine of Swords. I said they're confused about the, this. Is, these feelings that have cropped in that this person has, they, they genuinely are feeling something for you. It keeps keeping them up at night. It's causing them a lot of anxiety. Okay. All right. Should stop that. What's on top? Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. Um... It's weird. It could be read three different ways. It could be read that they want to get rid of these feelings once and for all, see if they're crazy or if it's real or whatever. Or somebody here, because of feelings they have for you, is leaving another relationship. That's possible. It could also be just somebody who wants to liberate themselves, wants to tell you about these feelings. Could be that too. Why is Nine Pentacles here? Four Cups. Um, they don't know how you feel. They're not sure if you're going to be interested or not. That's probably why the Eight of Swords is here. Could, but could also be why the Nine of Swords is here. Okay. Um, this could be an older soul. I, I, I feel like this is somebody you've got a conflict with. Something happened between you and this person at some point. I mean, I don't really get this as a newer soulmate energy, but I could be wrong for some of you. Why is the King of Swords here? Tell me about the King of Swords. Crossed by the King of Pentacles. Um, there's a mission-oriented aspect here. Somebody, it's like a, a, a soul mission to balance this energy out. Somebody here can't stop feeling you. They can't stop thinking about you. They, they've never met anybody like you. Maybe that's why you have a conflict with them. Some people react poorly to meeting people. They've never had, they've never, the type of person they've never met before. What's on top? Nine of Swords again. This energy flows from here to here. This energy is crossing here. Nines of the end in tarot is what's coming up here. Somebody just wants to get this done. Get her done. Mm, why is the nine of swords here though? Yeah, get her done. Uh, Knight of wands. Because somebody, it, it, they're tired of staying up all night. Tired of thinking about it. These feelings have welled up. This happens. This happens. People we have conflict with. Conflict, anger, and love are tough. It's, for an energy reader, you got to look at context to figure out whether someone hates you or likes you. Okay? You really do. It's it, They're very similar. Uh, somebody here just going to take a, a, a very brave, impulsive action and talk about these feelings. Talk about it. Okay. High Priestess. Why is it here? We're talking to the universe now. A little bit separate from the reading. We'll get to the final outcome in a moment. Why is the High Priestess here? Secrets. Hidden. Swept under a carpet. Type of energy. Mm. Two of Swords. Swept under a carpet. Stalemate energy. Perhaps you had a conflict with this person and it left at a stalemate. You know, never really resolved. Never really whatever. Ah, uh, they thought about you a lot. I will tell you that. 
perhaps anyway what's what's on top ten swords mm. for you this might be something you thought was put to rest a long time ago and somebody is well you know resurrecting it in a way a reconciliation energy here somebody wants to fix something that you may have thought I'm just gonna brush this off and not gonna think about it that's possible uh, there's the Knight of Swords. Yeah, incoming. Why is the Ten of Swords here? The Knight of Swords. Where we started in the pre-shuffle. Somebody's bringing a message of change. There's something you thought was... you Maybe you've put it to rest. You left it at a stalemate kind of a thing. It's getting... It's coming back. You're getting information that changes everything. Changes your view of this person. You both, in some way, end up in Eight Swords because of this. I'm telling you not to. Alright? Don't. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Just flow with the energy. Go where it takes you. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Why? What's the final final on this? Yeah, communication. Yep. This communication, crossed by the Eight of Wands, this communication leaves you, in the, leaves you both in kind of an Eight of Swords. Somebody's in Eight Swords, so they want to talk about it. Okay, they they thinking about it a lot. They're staying up at night. We know from the Nine of Swords that was crossing there and it's over there in the soul. But this communication for you and your final outcome puts you in a bit of a tizzy. Empress. You thought you were done with this. You thought you were free, liberated from this. You were feeling yourself. You grew your energy. You thought you were past this. And so this Eight of Swords reads more like confusion than fear. You're, or if there is any fear, you're afraid of going backwards. You're afraid of going back with this person, maybe. Or hanging out with this person again, maybe. Something along those lines. You're afraid of going back and rehashing old things. I don't know. Why is the Empress here? The star. Yeah. It's sort of like you say, to, the reason you get an Eight Swords is you say to yourself, I knew this was going to happen. Right? I knew this would happen. That kind of thing. Um... Don't be afraid if you're not interested here. If you, do, if you want to leave it in the past, leave it in the past. Okay? But this is something that's been delayed until this person's feelings came up. All right? But I got nothing but communication here. Um, somewhere between these two is a tower. So something happened here. Let's shuffle the deck. Let's see what else the universe wants to tell you. And again, I'm not a time lord. This may happen in April for some of you. This could be near future influence, but... For most of you, this is, you know, March is the setup energy for this at the very least. Uh, three cards and a crossing card from the bottom. What else do you want to tell Scorpio? Anything? Anything at all? Anything? Two swords was crossing there. Now it's there. Page of Wands. Justice and Judgment. It's coming back whether you like it or not. Okay? The black cat and the white cat are about to have a conversation. It's up to you. Whether this goes and you have new adventures with this person. So don't get in eight swords. Get in two swords. That's what the universe is suggesting. Stop at the stoplight. Weigh it up. The, the pros and the cons. All truth. Right? And decide. Either way, this, this, is, this energy is getting reconciled. It's getting balanced. A, you know, justice is served here. There is a conversation happening. That's your reading. I hope, I hope it was helpful. I did my best. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. Good luck.